Hi everyone, this is Rahmat on, on my way to Ottawa and this is a personal video during my personal time. I'm between Ottawa and Toronto. I have another four hours to drive. That's why I thought maybe I will make a very personal video uh, so that my audience perhaps knows me better, knows my um, philosophy, maybe my lifestyle better. Ultimately, I will share some of my mistakes, some of my observations, and I hope that th those will be useful for you. I landed on December 31st, 2005 in Toronto, and I haven't done my thorough research before moving to Canada. I realized that my law degree from back home, from my home country, my master's degree from Europe, my experience in in, in several international organizations as a so-called quote-unquote international lawyer didn't really uh, give me a boost here, okay? B because in Canada you have to, uh, being a lawyer is a, is a regulated profession, so those who, who studied law outside of Canada have to go through uh, accreditation and licensing process again in Canada. So I had two choices, going through what's called a National Committee on Accreditation, NCA. It would take me two or three years maybe. <clears throat> the other option was go back to law school from scratch. So went to went back to law school to, and got my license in 2012, yeah, 2012, because after graduating you need to do a practice, it's called articling practice here in Canada. So I successfully did my articling, then I started my uh, Canadian lawyer's career in 2012. In the meantime, between 2012 and 2016, I worked for Bombardier Aerospace, uh, a big uh, aircraft manufacturing company. Maybe you heard about that that company. Bombardier used to manufacture both a commercial aircraft and business jets. Now they are just focusing on business jets. Then in 2016, I was hired for a, as an aviation lawyer. Uh, for a for a reputable very very reputable law firm in England in London UK, uh, I I stayed there for about one year, but I decided to return to Canada because I didn't feel like I'm at home, you know. And uh, when I returned to Canada in 2016, by that time my team was running our current law firm from to 2012 all the way to 2016. Now, in 2022, we will be celebrating 10 years of Sobirov's law firm. We are very, very excited. So uh, you will hear more, much about, uh, more about that. And so in 2016, I came back from London. Uh, we started to grow the company with a philosophy that we will be helping immigrants, okay? Like ourselves, we connect to immigrant, immigrants in a diff, on a different level, I think my personal opinion because we've been through this hardship of moving from one country to another have you moved from one country to another you would understand what I what I'm trying to say starting from zeros no connections no network nothing but the only thing is your motivation your hope uh, the prayers of your parents uh, the support of your mentors that's it right so we focused on business entrepreneurs, business owners, entrepreneurs, uh, investors, high net worth individuals, because we believe that those individuals will have a greater impact, amazing impact in a shorter period of time. One entrepreneur can create hundreds of jobs. One investor can create multiple opportunities for this can, for this Canadian population, for this country, for my future too. You know, I will be, I will be very selfish now. I want to bring successful, motivated, genuine people that will help me to improve my country's future, my own future, perhaps my my children's future, and so on. We try to focus on probability of success of our applicants. What, what I mean by that? 
maybe you are not a uh, English native speaker or your mother tongue is not English but there's a very curious word in English it's called eligibility eligibility is the very minimum um, I would translate it as a possibility okay possibility means 50% yes 50% no when I try to immigrate to Canada I I wasn't concerned about possibility I was concerned about probability will I immigrate will I get the visa okay my immigrant mind thinks about probability not eligibility eligibility has to be there you cannot you cannot avoid it right eligibility has to be there but I'm as an immigrant I'm more concerned about probability so in our legal practice what we did we of course vet our clients for eligibility if you're not eligible sorry we cannot help okay this is very straightforward however when we find out that you are eligible we concentrate our focus we, we microscopically focus on probability okay when I implement that probability analysis in my vetting process I have higher chance and my clients have higher chance of success okay but for immigrant mind it's difficult to grasp when you say you are eligible but then you fail okay that's why I, I rather talk to my clients on the probability of success that's the level I want to talk to my clients because I think personally on a very personal level I will be doing better service if I focus not only on eligibility but also on probability in Canada we do have failures too uh, Canadian government has failed many on many occasions which which lawyers cannot control it's the government's responsibility to clear that backlog and the frustrations I, I hear from my clients are are you know overwhelming uh, they hurt us too they hurt our reputation they hurt the relationship between uh, my law firm and our clients but trust me we are trying to do our best if we don't agree with the de decision of the immigration and Canadian officials we refute it for free we uh, ask them for reconsideration we try three times for a client that we believe should be approved we don't give up easily and you can see in many of our previous clients success story when we failed in the initial stage we we fought back and we got approved for our approval for our clients we got that file approved by immigration Canada and this is the whole video that I'm trying to do here is about the philosophy one philosophy that we are trying to implement at Sobirov's law firm and I hope and I really hope that this will be for the benefit of my clients um, thank you very much for bearing with me please don't shy away give us your feedback give us your tell us more about your experience with us or with other lawyers with other immigration consultants what was your experience that you really enjoyed maybe we can implement that uh, to our practice and we can improve we we strive every day to improve a little bit one cent one millimeter at a time but we are we we never stop improving thank you very much i hope you have a wonderful day and uh, I hope, I really hope to see you in Canada.